Hi, I'm Lance Nicole and today we're filming our Dramatic Beauty Portrait tutorial. We've just arrived and before we get set up, I wanted to run through some of the gear we're going to be using today. Our camera is a Nikon D800. Our, our two main lens options are the 85 1.4 and the 70-200 2.8. These are both really great fashion and beauty lenses, um, but one each is going to have an advantage over the other, or a slight advantage. The 85 1.4, I find it to be a little bit sharper than the other. Um, I also find that it focuses just a little bit faster than the 70-200. The 70-200 is going to give us the advantage for beauty portraits of being a 2.8 lens. The reason that's an advantage is because each of these lenses is going to have a sweet spot or a spot where they perform just a little bit better. Generally speaking for lenses, that's about two stops past their most open. So for the 85 1.4, that's going to be somewhere between 2.8 and 5.6. Uh, for the 70-200, that's going to be somewhere between 5.6 and f11. So that gives us more information that we can see from the front to the back of our focal plane. And for beauty, that's an advantage. Now, I wouldn't say that one is an advantage over the other. We're already starting at a good focal length of 85 for portraits. But as we move up into a longer focal length, we're gonna have more compression in our image. That means that perspective from front to back is gonna be minimalized as we move into a longer lens. So that's just gonna give us a slightly different look. The 7200 is gonna give us the option of shooting at say 105, 135, or even 200. For our lighting system today, we're gonna to be using Einsteins from Paul C. Buff. I wanted to start our tutorial series out with the Einsteins to show you guys that you can get a quality light and you can put together a quality shoot without having to spend a whole lot of money. Each of these strobes is about $500 and they stand up with and are in the conversation with strobes that are two and three times the price. The color consistency as well as the output consistency are at a professional level. Um, and you might spend two to three times on Profoto, Elenchrome, or Bron Color um, and still be in the same range of uh, professional quality light as these Einsteins. And also the flash duration of these lights are remarkable and in some tests even better than the higher quality strobes. We have a number of modifiers here on set today. We have soft boxes, octa boxes. Uh, it's nice to have an option when coming into a shoot. For our dramatic beauty portrait, we may only need one light and one modifier. Our main light and main modifier is going to be the Mola Demi 22 inch beauty dish with the white interior. We have uh, a grid as well as a diffuser for an option today. We'll use the grid if we want to constrain the spill of light and we'll use the diffuser if we want to soften the transition of the light. Okay, so we finished setting up and before we start shooting, I wanted to walk you guys through our lighting setup. Our main light is the Einstein. It's at 1 8th power with the Mola Demi 22 inch view dish. Uh, we did decide to go with the grid so we can constrain the spread of light uh, in our shot. Uh, even to push that more, we have our fill cards on either side. Uh, so we have black fill cards on either side of our model's face. It's simply just foam core. Uh, and that black is going to reflect or add shadows back into our model's face so that it's an even more dramatic portrait. But we also have added a second light. So we talked about having one or two lights. The second light is just skimming across the background. Our main light is at 1 8th. Our second light is at 1 64th power. So it's a lot less light and it's just going to add a little bit of motion or movement on our background. 